Okay guys, before I get down there and start casting, I want to just show you what I'm working on. This is uh, a Tekel Hunker Frog, and I have cut off some swim bait tails and put some corkscrew, you know, twist things on there, and uh, I don't know what they're called. And I've made my own Sprinker Frog with two legs. Now, one thing that I've noticed, I have tested this, these do tend to overlap and touch from time to time, but for the most part, they do pretty well. I don't know how much they're actually spinning in the water. I know if I submerge it underwater and I swim it pretty hard, they'll spin like I want them to, but as soon as they hit the surface, they tend to just kind of wobble back and forth with an occasional flip. And I did get a, quite a few strikes the other day at this pond with a bunch of dinks. Nothing could really take it in because it wasn't, uh, they weren't big enough, but it seems to work pretty good. One thing I might try on this next set of legs is maybe shortening one of these to where the bigger parts don't inter you know, intersect and collide. So anyway, I'm going to go down here and toss this around for about 15 or 20 minutes before work. They're always hanging in this channel, so let me see if I can entice one to bite. I'm going to come way up this creek and cast straight out. bird and the, or at least the bird likes it these sprinker frogs and these other frogs all right so my tips at six so anybody's gonna criticize me for a side cast or a side set uh, it might look different on the GoPro but my my rod tip is at six <laughs> That is a big bass, dude. That is a big, big, big bass. Look at that, look at that. He ate it all too. Oh my God, that's on video. That is on video. <laughs> woo, woo yeah, boy. <laughs> look at that. Good morning, look at that, guys. All right, so you're looking. There's my frog set. I did not wait. I went six to 12. This is freaking frog Shangri-La right here, dudes. This is a five pound bath. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna try to calm down. I'm gonna try to calm down. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is amazing. Oh, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. I'm gonna hang this in his mouth for a picture. All right, time to let this bad boy go. This is amazing, guys. Thank you for all the tips on YouTube because that really, I think, helped me out quite a bit. I'm gonna put him back where he can swim. This thing was just parked down here in this little corner. I'm gonna let him swim off nice and easy. Wow. Again, everybody, all this longer rod, six to 12 hook set, Listen to me, I'm like, I'd like to thank the Academy um, for blah, blah, blah. That, that was just awesome, dudes. Really, seriously, I appreciate all the tips and advice. That was awesome. So this thing swam in. It obviously produced a fish. Whew. Maybe you guys, maybe some of you lure people can help me figure out how to do this better. When this thing is submerged, I'm gonna look down. Those legs definitely spin. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna keep doing it. Those legs spin around. They're spinning in circles when that thing's submerged. Okay, so I know that the rotation happens and the swivels work, but when I'm on top, they tend to just kick back and forth, which might be fine. I mean, you don't have to have the whopper plopper action all the time. They, they definitely create some disturbance and they do a flip every now and then. And I think one spins better than the other, um, to be honest. But anyway, if you guys have any ideas on how to get those legs to spin better, 
and not intersect and interact with each other. All right, holding right at six o'clock. That was just a beautiful. <laughs> that was awesome.